to God be the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. These books here, the religious don't. The devil don't. Satan don't. And man-made doctrines don't. Because those books there, you get done with these books, and you will have to make a decision. You get done with this book, and you'll have to make a decision. You get done with this book, and you'll have to make a decision. Whether you want to follow the word or follow religion. <clears throat> The New Dynamic Church. Uh, yeah, you finish that book and religion keeps getting less and less in your mind from what you are used to in the denominational doctrines of whatever they want to teach you to keep you in line, to keep you under the invisible thumb of religion which is all devilish. There is no religion in truth, but there can be some truth in religion. But uh, any of these books, you touch any of these books and put them into your mind, you will have to make a decision whether you want to believe the Word of God or man-made doctrines that you've been given since you were old enough to receive them. All righty. Now, Chapter 12 of 1 Corinthians, I'm going over it again. Because it is the power of God to every born again believer. And I'm going to go over it so we understand what's gifts and what's manifestations. And how that all fits together. It's real simple. But if we've been taught a bad doctrine, it's hard to switch to the truth of God's word. Because we feel duped. We feel betrayed, and that's what the world is there to do, is to betray you. The world is there to betray you, and God is there to see you through as long as you stick with his word that is true. So, now concerning spiritual matters, pneumaticos, things of the spirit, things pertaining to the spirit, Brethren, I would not have you ignorant. That's in a negative tense. If you know anything about tenses, that negative tense right there puts a double emphasis on he wants you to know this. Gifts is an italics. Cross it. Scratch it. Erase it. I want to I wanna go through and erase all the italics. I'd just rather not have to deal with the crap. But it's put in there because that's what they wanted to do. I'm thankful we got the word of God that we have. But that's, God makes it so available to have the truth. Man makes it so available to have religion. And you're the denominating factor of what you're going to believe. You know that you were Gentiles carried away under these dumb idols, even as you were led, the Roman Catholic Church and everything else. You know you were led to dumb idols. Praying to who? What, where, when, and how? Anyway, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand, in contrast to those dumb idols that you were led to, I give this to you. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus a curse, and that no man can truly say, Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Okay? That right there, that right there is an action, isn't it? That's an action that you have to take to believe God. You believe God, take the action. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God Ah, the first thing the enemy wants to take away is your communication with God. Isn't that the first thing he did with Eve? Oh, God didn't say that. God didn't say that, did he? Putting that doubt in there, that question for doubt. 
You shall not surely die. God knows that when you do eat of that tree, when you do eat of that knowledge, when you do partake in those actions of that knowledge, you will be like gods. Wow. Wow. How, oh, oh, I'll stop there. Now there are diversities of gifts. There's your gifts, but the same spirit. And that gifts is not in italics right there. That's not in italics. That's gifts. And there are diversities of administrations, but the same Lord. Okay, we've got gifts and we've got administrations. And there are diversities of operations. But it is the same God which worketh all in all. But in contrast to that, so that's a whole segment right there of all kinds of power. Gifts are mentioned. But then it says right here, but, but, in contrast to all these things that were just mentioned, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. Every man to profit with all. The manifestation. What's the manifestation? Well, there's. it's called a manifestation because each one is individual. But there are nine of them in total. Jesus Christ operated six because that's what was available. And the other three were not. You read that book right there. And you will need to make a decision. And if you don't make a decision, God knows. If you make the wrong decision after reading that book, you're only uh, responsible to God. But between you and God, God knows the truth. And you have to believe God to see the truth. So it goes through these. It says, for one... Is given Well, that's a contradiction in terms if it's going by verse 7 and then it says for to one. Unless we use a little bit of English language and put that one to what? The subject, manifestation. For to one, manifestation is given by the Spirit, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, discerning of spirits. To another, to another, to another. It's very self-explanatory if you get the religious garbage of teaching out of your head and go neutral to see it in a new light. I saw it without the religion, so I never had this problem of the Trinity. I heard about the Trinity, but I didn't, I, I, I heard about it, but it didn't make sense. And so I just blew it off. It didn't matter to me. And then when it became important to know the word of God in my life. God, I say, God, I want to know what the boys had in the book of Acts. Well, they didn't have the gifts of speaking in tongues because it's a manifestation. Anyway, and so this right here, that right there, I'm telling you right now. You can be religious or you can know the truth because the chapters and verses in here stump any man-made religious garbage. Oh, to the point where you, you have to stop reading that book, stop reading any of these books to stay your mind on your religion or you really read these books and finish them and believe God for power through the Holy Spirit. So, the manifestations are for every born-again believer, because I'm just going to go right down here to verse 11, where it says, but all these, all these what? Everything from the end of 10 to the beginning of 7. The beginning of 7 to the end of 10 all these work at that one and self same spirit, dividing severally to every man 
as he wills. Let's see. I did that by, I didn't even look at it. <laughs> but all these worketh that one and self same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will. Will. As he will, the individual. So, you believe and do whatever you want, but that's what it says right there. Verse 7 and 11 are the end caps of the power given to every born again believer. Now, the rest over here, the rest over here from everything else is available too also, but long suits and availability all have something to do with everything here. But these are for every born-again believer, 7 through 11, every born-again believer. Verse 12, for as the body is one and hath many members, all the members of that body are being many are one body. So also is Christ. So principles again, knowing the principles of God almighty to not mess things up. Okay, God is no respecter of persons. You desire to know and you ask and look and dig for the treasure, God has his treasure troves available through biblical research, not denominational doctrine. <clears throat> biblical research and letting the word speak for itself, chapter and verse. I just, I, I it's right there. Read it. And it's a beautiful thing. And so he goes over the illustration of the body. Everybody's baptized into one body. There's one baptism, one Holy Spirit. That right there, one Holy Spirit and one baptism. Denounces the man-made garbage of three. For as the body is one and hath many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. It's one body. For by the Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. See, it's one body. It's one Spirit. You get the same Spirit I get. Nobody gets a different Spirit, but... It's like a car. And uh, let's, let's do the example of a car. Some people use cars for bare necessities. Some people use cars for everything. Yeah, some people use a car for their work, their pleasure, their responsibilities, and everything. And another person will use a car to go to the store, and that's it. Well... You operate in your Holy Spirit according to the Word of God and everything God's given for you to operate is up to you. No one else. Oh, well, I didn't know. Yeah, you didn't look. I couldn't understand that. No, because you didn't care to. You walk away from it. Walk around it. Go on to something else. When the most important individual beneficial manifestation is speaking in tongues. But you go to church, you do your thing, and if you never have a real deep relationship with God, yeah, I say God, I didn't say Jesus Christ. If you've got Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ knows you. But, What's your relationship with God? Because isn't that the bottom line? Jesus Christ came to get us back to God. So, believe what you want, believe what you will, but the power of God is for those that believe, not the religious that don't want it. 
to God be the glory in the name of Jesus Christ, Ephesians 5.20, is how we pray. Amen.